Hello, it's Sarah. And tonight I just wanted to share some ornaments that I made. Um, thanks to Muriel, Miss Cooper Scoop, um, I was inspired to make these. I have had these paper mache ornaments. I've got a whole bag full of them because I painted for years, as you all know, and I would have painted these um, usually. But covering them with paper was so fun and cool. Actually, yesterday, Maya was here and um, was upstairs crafting, coloring, doing things. Her and her dad put together um, a gingerbread house and stuff like that. So I was just sitting there covering the, pa covering the, the paper mache with paper. So I Mod Podge the paper on. And this is the um, Graphic 45 um, Nutcracker Sweet Paper. Um, and then I just pulled together some Muriel's um, tutorial, or well, her video, her share, shows that she used K and Company, like, not decals, um, their Ace Tate and um, chipboard pieces, I think. But anyway, I just pulled together whatever I had, and I had some poinsettias and different sticker things like that. But I basically fussy cut a lot of stuff out. I used stamps and fussy cut. So this is my first one. And it's Santa, and I think that might be a Stampendous stamp. He's over there, but um, actually he was already cut. He was already colored, and I just laid him on top of this purple. I'm going to lower this down a little. Um, I laid him on top of the purple paper and thought, okay, he, he deserves to be on there. This is the, it was purple and red, and he's purple and red, so it matched perfectly. So I kind of popped him up, put him on there. Put some of this red trim around it with some um, bead trim. This is pearl bead trim. I don't have the flatback pearls. I can't. I found it one time, I think, at Hobby Lobby, and I can't. I don't. I just don't know where to get it. But I really wish I had some of that. But because she, she had used hers and went all around it, and actually, um, I'll show you this one, which was this was the first one. So that's it. And I just put some um, like holly little stickers and some, um, I punched out some snowflakes and put them on, but I think it turned out really cute and just stickles, stickles them up and everything. And so, yeah, this is another one, another star I did, but this one I actually, so this was just done with the, um, the blue paper and I used the gold trim and I did what she did was she took her, um, pearls and just ran it all the way around the edge and used it as the hanger too. So I copied that off of her and just put different things. So this is just cut cut apart. So not really cut apart. So I fussy cut out the the um the nutcracker and this little um tag and put a little piece of string there. This was a sticker from a sticker sheet. And these are I think K and Company stickers, the three dimensional stickers. Um a button. She's an angel button that I popped up. And the star. These are these just wooden stars that I got at Michael's recently. I'm really glad I got these because these are going to come in handy. Because they have this kind and the like more like sparkly kind. And I actually, um, I embossed it gold and then I put this little, this is like a, it was a silver piece, a silver star. And I like um, copic it yellow and stuff. But anyway, really cute Muriel. Thank you so much. Oh, I put a charm. This charm... I got for free from Butterby Scraps. Oops, wait, the little bling isn't, there it is. And it's this, you thread it all through and it ends up being a leaf, a flower, and a little center. It's so cute. And then I just put this little um, angel on the bottom. So I like that one. Turned out super cute. And then this one is just so simple, but yet so pretty. Um, it was just this kind of um, khaki color with red. And so I threw this young lady on there. She's the little ballerina. I fussy cut her out with the nutcracker and put a couple of poinsettias and believe. And then I glossy accented believe and put some stickles on and everything. But look how super cute. I did the red trim on this one. So really, and these are nice size ornaments. Like they're nice size. And then this one I had, um, this, I wasn't really too sure what to do with this red background. Like all my other cuts were, cutouts were kind of like, getting like lost in that red so I had this big old angel and she was already cut out this is um a La La Land stamp this angel Marcy angel Marcy so I just had her already cut out and so I stickled her a little bit and just glued her right in the center put some of that like dollar trim from AC Moore on there and some um pretty white bead trim 
and a little blue angel to meet to match and some blue ribbon at the top so pretty cute I like them I I'm pretty happy with covering these with paper it was I mean it was a little bit like a puzzle at first but then once you figured out what you were putting on it was it was really cool and I would have painted these in the past so it was fun to cover them with paper so and I might as well show you these are this is one of the cards I made for my husband's work it says take time to chase snowflakes and it's the penguins this is a stampendous um, stamp set that was at Michael's that I just picked up and it just says seasons greetings inside but I may had to make a bunch of them and I made a bunch of these this is um what is this lawn fawns winter sparrows and I got this from I copied this from um, I think it was Pinterest I saw this card and I just thought it was so cute I didn't they used the um the stamp of the like tree bark but I had the embossing folder so I just used the embossing folder and then cut the hole and colored with my Copics and um, it just says, uh, wishing you the happiest of holidays to you and yours. And that was a stamp. I just got that and thought it was a really good um, holiday sentiment for just, um, you know, every religion or whatever. It's just the holidays, so it's good. So I made them a bunch of them, too. And then one more card I'll show real quick. Um, my Aunt Elna is not well, and I wanna be, I'm going to be sending her some cards to boost her spirit so this one was my first one I did and I had these this is um a penny black stamp set it's Betsy Bluebell I think it's called and they're really cute I have this other image here too that I colored they're really cute and so I just put sending hugs and kisses love Sarah so hopefully she'll enjoy that and I hope to send her a lot more just little cute cutesy cards, nothing real um, fancy, just something sweet to lift her spirits. Um, but that's my ornaments. So I just wanted to share those. And thank you so much, Muriel, for the inspiration. They were fun. I enjoyed them. And I'm going to hang them on my tree. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.